Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue after a very, 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 you get the idea, long break. It is Sword Coast Legends back in action. We are going to continue on, and I'm actually aiming to finish the game. I am going to be doing this with uh, quite a few games. I'm actually going to be tightening up things just a bit and focusing more on finishing some of the titles that I've started than really expanding out and getting a lot yes. more going. So there'll be an influx of first looks, I suppose, but less new from scratch cover thingies and stuff and junk. And it's fine. You guys will see. Hopefully you'll like the change. Maybe you'll hate it. I don't know. We'll see. Either way. All right. I did play back to this point, not with the same characters, but um, with like a different subset of characters that I made. So I'm roughly right where I left off. So I kind of know what's going on with the story. And I did play with the same type of characters, yeah. except I had, I think, a fighter as opposed to a paladin. So that's really about it. Now, I did do some reading, and it does look like our alignment does not matter at all throughout the gameplay. Nor does our race or any of that stuff, really. So that's a little bit of a downer or a bummer or a downside, if you will, to the game. But other than that, I've really been enjoying the game. I don't see why anyone wouldn't be, but it's, it's pretty cool. I like it. All right, I'm just re-familiarizing myself here with the skills that I have. All right, so it calls upon divine power to augment a single strike, dealing 10 to 30 radiant damage on to the target that's hit. The radiant energy that erupts and seeks out allies. So that's another way of healing. So we have multiple ways of healing, and we have a way of pulling an enemy into ourselves. I'm liking that. So you're going to have to give me just a minute, like I said, I have played recently, I know where I'm at roughly, and what we need to be doing, but I just need to make sure that all my abilities and character stuff is actually on the bar, and it should be. Judgment 2, we have our Lay on Hands, uh, it's a 40 second cooldown, okay. Avenger, what does this one even do? Call down Divine Power, eh. We have Restoration. Apparently we have that. Oh, we do have it on our bar. Okay. Good. So that's a, what, a debuff remover? Yeah, yeah, Okay. Good. Good. What else? None of these things. And I believe I'm using a sword and board as my tool. Well, probably like a mason board or an axe or something. I do, I do not believe that I am actually focused on two-handed weaponry, which was something that I was leaning toward doing. But yes, no, I have a mace... A morning star, if you will. Let's see, there should be something else that we can utilize. I like the idea of using just the mace. But, at the same time, I don't know that it's necessary. Well, it actually is kind of looking like it's the best deal. Uh, we have piercing versus slashing. I suppose we could have both. I mean, they are the same type of weapon. I, like, they are both one-handed weapons. Oh, I do have a two-handed weapon. Okay, I thought maybe I did, but I think I had been moving around doing other stuff. You know what? That's fine. We're going to go with that. Let's just take a look at some of the armor and stuff. We're decked out in kind of the more heavy armor. Yeah, we are. Good. Lightning-resistant chest. Armor of catching. Interesting. Stealth disadvantage. Well, I wasn't really planning. Captain's cuirass. Faithful gloves. Do we have any extra shields? What are these? Oh, these are only for Bellamy, and... Oh, intriguing. Okay, well, I think we're just going to roll out and do stuff then. Let's go. Enough sitting around waiting to see what's going to happen or what's next. I'm going to switch my weapon. Does it tell me what the hotkey is? It doesn't. It's fine. How may I serve? All right, let's roam around with Larithar. Oh, man, what have I done with his... Ah, oh, there we go. Loose brick. What have I done with his... Um, level up because I completely have him moving much quicker in my like uh, sure. my solo let's play to get to this point. Anyhow, I've been really, really, really jonesing. I think I mentioned this, but in case I didn't, I've been really jonesing to play oh, cool. Some of these story-driven games. Pillars of Eternity is going to be next up on the chopping block, so to speak, so you guys can look forward to that or hate it passionately depending. Thunder Resistance and we have a Faithful Loop. 
Plus one all radiant damage. I do some radiant damage. Might as well throw that on there. Um, I think I'm going to put it on her. Only due to the fact that hopefully spells will kind of get deflect. It. You'll see. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. I want to check his abilities now. What have I done with him? He's got that. He's only got two points up in the sneaking. That's fine. Double points in the, the disengage. Okay, single point there. And a double there. I think that's it for him. Okay, so what I'm going to do next point, I'm probably going to get search two. And maybe sneak three. Let's see where that puts us. All right. Anyhow, I believe we've cleared out most of this stuff, like so plan. it's going to be mildly inconvenient at best to kind of roam around and do the different things here. Uh, most of the sewers are done. I do need to still walk around and pick up all sure. all the other things. Uh, seems recently used, like a member of the gang or a vagrant from Luskin. If you say so. uh, pick up all the ooze, the sticky samples, yeah, yeah. so to speak. All right. A shanty of our own. Speak to her, help her find a place in Luskin, have her forge a deed. I know how to do this quest because I figured it out. So, yeah, apparently I was actually quite bad at this game before. I'm not saying that I'm going to be much better at this point, Sounds but like a plan. hopefully I've improved slightly. Sure. Uh, playing it all together yeah, over so. the course of a couple days was much better, and this is going to, I'm going to try to make this a daily series. So you guys should be able to get, hopefully, a little bit more enjoyment out of all the crazy shenanigans and stuff that we're going to be doing. But we'll see. All right. We'll see how what it all plays it out. Require? All right, Hamid, you move there. You open the door. Like a plan. I don't know how well or poorly I've done in this area so far. I did not go back and watch any of my videos, guys and gals. So I just basically played to... I, I checked out where I was in the, the actual so. saved game. I was like, okay, I've, that's where I thought I was in the sewers below Luskin right. trying to get entry. Okay, totally makes sense. And then, yeah, I just basically played back to that point. Oh, we're encumbered, wow. Didn't even know that that was a thing that could happen. Or at least I didn't remember it, I should say. Uh, we just picked up a scale mail tunic. So where is our, our weights right there? Wow. 20 pounds, 45 pounds. No wonder we had some stuff dropped. Is there a way to drop things again? I guess so. Heavy gauntlets. Wow, that's crazy. Well, I definitely need to start selling some of the stuff that we're just not using. Alright, we'll take a look at the map. And... It looks like we have a place that we can go over here. We didn't go all the way over this way, and if we go up through this way, that'll lead us somewhere as well. Alright, Larithar, let's see what you've got to do for us here. And I, like I said, I'm, I'm well aware that we have not got many of the ooze Oh, we did collect all the ooze samples. I'm sorry, I could have sworn that I saw some laying around. Well, my apologies. We just have to bring the samples to the alchemist once we get inside the town. Let's see, I see Ooze Puddle here. I just assume that we hadn't actually got through that yet. Alright, so we're going that way. We're not going the way I actually thought we were with him. So, that being said, let's spin the map around. This, to me, looks like this is probably the exit, exit point, the exfiltration point, if you will. We can speed uh, Larthar up. He's he's a bit on the slow side, he is. I'll get him going up a bit quicker. Sounds like a plan. All right. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm here. It's another loose brick. What's this? Whole bunch of stuff. Sure. There's a mysterious stranger over here, which does not necessarily bode well. So let's uh, waddle on up here and talk to the mysterious stranger. Hello, stranger. Ah, hello there. What brings you to the sewers? Uh, we heard that there's a, a fire sale on uh, used boots, and we're here for it. Uh, did you do this? What happened here? I'm more interested in what you're doing here. We're trying to get into Luskin. Did you do this? Me? Oh, no, no, no. I just... 
happened upon these bodies after the fact. Uh huh. Monsters must have gotten to them. The sewers can be a very dangerous place. I hear the rats have become particularly aggressive as of late. It's true, they have. Alright, you expect us to believe that? They were members of a gang, they should have been prepared for that. Those cuts look like they came from a sword, not claws or teeth. He's using daggers, so probably not him either. So it would seem. Perhaps bandits. Or maybe infighting. Who's to say? Huh. Why so interested anyway? Were they friends of yours? Not particularly. No, well, we don't know them. They were members of the Dead Rats gang. The Dead Rats? How interesting. I thought they were all but wiped out. <laughs> Judging from what we see here, they may as well be. Huh. Eh? If I were you, I'd refrain from getting involved with people like them. Though I should hardly need to tell you that lowly street thugs tend to have very short life expectancy. That is true. Now, if that's all, I'd like to return to my duties. What, what duties? I'm sure you have better places to be as well, yes? Uh, yeah, what duties would those be? Normally, I'd love to plumb the depths of my occupation with someone like you. But I'm already behind schedule. And I don't want to have to tell my employers about the group of adventurers keeping me from my duties. Uh -huh. So if you would please move along. Or maybe you should. One of these corpses should have a sword for us to deliver. A sword? Ah, yes. I thought that looked too fancy for these thugs. Unfortunately, it may be a little broken. Bastard must have put up quite the fight. Somehow, he broke his own sword before he went down. Huh. Here. The blade is still in good condition. I saw a rather large rat run off with the hilt. Of course he did. If you hurry, you can still catch it. Um, a rat? You've seen the rats down here, yes? One could almost ride one up under the surface. If one were so inclined. Well, I think he was involved with these deaths. Should we antagonize him or not? Mm. That's quite an insinuation. Especially given that we just met. Yeah. And it speaks to your courage. Since obviously you think I'm capable of bringing down a gang of these thugs single-handedly. Indeed. I certainly wouldn't want to antagonize a man like that myself. Indeed. And you said a rat ran off with the sword's hilt. You've seen the rats down. Yeah, 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 yeah. One could almost ride one up under the surface. Yes, yes, you said this. Time. All right, well, I guess we're going to get out of here. Safe travels. And watch your back. You wouldn't want to end up like these poor saps. That is true. We most assuredly would not. Okay, well, since, you know, you're you're so friendly, find the rat with the sword hilt. Apparently, I can't loot that body, which is weird. I'll assume it's because all the bodies were already. Here's the first looted. spot. Make sure you hide that thing away so it won't be found by any thieves or rats. Okay. Had some experience making deliveries to the sewers, have you? More than I'd like to remember. All right. So apparently, we are deliver doing our deliveries now as well so hopefully we can finish all the stuff that we need to before we okay that's cool uh so when we do oh these are just the ones that we still okay that's cool drop off the second package merc's dying wish okay so that's not important either at once okay well all that being said, Hamid, what are you doing, buddy? Dude, yep. like, what? There's a reason nobody likes you, Hamid. There's a reason. If you say so. You sure we can't just kill this guy and be done with it? I feel like that would be fun. Also, probably pretty dangerous. So a rat, a giant rat, ran off with our our sword hilt, huh? Do you expect us to believe this? I mean, I, right. I, I suppose it's possible. Highly unlikely, but possible. Sounds like a plan. Well, sure. we were heading this way. So. And there was the probability yeah, that there yeah. was actually something going down over here, so... All right. I, I suppose we can Sounds keep like our eyes and our, 
is open. We got a blue quartz we did. The ooze puddles and all sorts of stuff here, it's gonna be fine. If you say so. Alright, we're about to Oh, there's a door. I'm like we're about to hit a dead end. Or the place that yeah, we have yet yeah. to explore. Right. Turns out there's a door. Is this the exit to the sewers? As you attempt to open the door, a slot opens to reveal someone staring at you from the other side. Huh. Well, did you get me sword yet? Oh. No, ah, not yet. Was it too complicated for you? Just talk to Jin up at the store room. It's not fair from here. We're not letting you in until you bring it back. So get moving. Okay, so I don't remember having done that part. This is the the one downside. I know I did a bunch of stuff in the sewers, but Sounds I didn't recall like everything I had done in the sewers. The one downside to not rewatching the videos that I have previously done. So we gotta find this rat. So it looks like we're gonna have to go to the Shoot. other end of the world here, essentially. And from if this spot, so. we're gonna have to. Also, where's the other delivery? There should be two spots for the delivery. This is where we entered at. And if we come in over here... This will help. Uh oh. Oh, I, I suppose we found the rat. Need some up. Yes? Okay, so she should probably throw a bless on us. Don't need that on the bar. We're using that. There's a heal, another heal, third heal, an AoE heal. Yeah, pretty much what I was expecting. Don't need these things on the bar, if I recall correctly. Let me double check, just to make sure. What is this thing? Oh yeah, it's a cantrip. Alright, we're basically using other stuff with her, so we don't need those things as much. Alright, so she's going to be casting Bless, in theory. I am going to try and bash this rat, which totally did not work, so I'm going to pull it back. Larathar is over there doing Laratharian things. We have that. Let's get rid of the cantrip here. You'll have to forgive me, folks. I am just trying to get stuff into a more, we'll say, feasible position. And the cantrips can be cycled over here if you're wondering why I keep removing them. So there's no reason to really have them on the bar. I feel like I should have more abilities with them. Okay, that's passive. That's, okay, the fire bolt. Maybe, maybe I don't have more abilities with them. I'd like to get this and Melf's Acid Arrow if I could, but that's okay. Alright, so that's that's fine. So we're gonna have him do that. I guess she's gonna have to heal herself, because she's kinda getting beat up. At your service. And I am going to attack him. The heals are gonna go out. Larathar has finished up what he's doing. He's coming over to give me a hand. We're gonna use our Victoria Surge. And the pack rat should go down pretty oh, easily yes. here. There it is. A well-deserved victory. Yeah. Well done, boys. Well done. First try. Hey, Rickle's sword hilt. We will take it. We will take it all. All right, so now it looks like we have secured our way out. I'm going to run over there. We'll come back this way in a moment's time. I'm not sure that sound was specifically. I do hope there's something magical in this one. I do hope there's something magical in this one. Alright, so we're gonna hop back on up here. It is saying that we can, I guess it's showing that we've completed a quest on this. That's cool. Alright, so nasty yes. slimy stuff. And Larathar actually leveled up, so let's see what we can do with him. I think I'm going to learn, well, before I do that, let's just double check some of the other things. What is this? Nah, his expertise I'm not a big fan of. That's okay. I'm considering getting the teleport, but I think what I'm going to do 
is we're going to go with the second tier of searching. We're going to go with this as well. That gives us one more point that we can use, and I think we're going to use our throwing dagger here and learn that. Most new skills take two points to level up, so I feel like it would have been kind of a waste. Okay, drop off the second package. we still got to figure that one out. And then we got to bring the samples to the alchemist. we are, we got to find someone to fix the sword too? Oh, that might be a bit more challenging. I don't know about that one. That one might that one might be a bit rough. We'll see. I can do that. As you wish. Okay, so we're going to come over here. Right away. And I believe if we head this way. Yeah, we're going to be pretty much back where I'm curious, did I murder all the bad guys? All the, uh, the gang people? I'm starting to feel like I did. And we didn't have to. I could have used strength or other of things course. to intimidate them into At letting once. me do stuff. So I may be having some issues now with the fact that they're all I dead. As you wish. It's alright, though. We'll make it work. Probably. Or we'll look really, really, really foolish not making it work. Alright, this may go poorly. We'll find out here in a minute. Wish me luck, folks. Wish me luck. Oh yeah, they are super not happy. Okay, I think what we're going to do is... I think I'm going to fall back to this spot. Oh man. Okay, so we're pulling the lackeys in. I need to get him over. I need Hamet back a bit further. Also, I feel like he wasted his sleep real early on. Alright, I'm going to attack the were-rat. They all seem quite angry. Larathar, you're not doing well, buddy. Yeah, you are. I, I don't know why this is going as poorly as it is, folks. I apologize. It should not be going this way, but the fact that it is kind of isn't great. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and attack oh, that way. Now who's the scrawny one, huh? What's up? He's got nothing left. Um, Did you need something? Ideally, I would have held them all in position where we were. But sadly, that is not how things went. Alright, we're doing okay. How are we? We're handling things alright. He took that guy out. I'd rather the one on Hamid get wrecked while I continue to focus on the were rat that I'm focused on. Alright, so this went really decent. And we said good day, sir. It could have gone better, but it could have also gone significantly worse. Take that. Take the gold. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad that went as well as it did. And I said, there was definitely the potential for that to go absolutely horrible as opposed to slightly awful. It's not too bad. At once. Let's take a peek in here. Are there going to be more? Yeah, there's going to be more. But this dude, he's a junk seller, which probably means that we'll be able to get some stuff handled. I.e. we can sell some of our equipment and underburden ourselves a bit. Alright, boys. Get on over there and take down that rat. Wow. They look mad. Best work yet. Alright, I'm gonna back away. I'm gonna throw my dagger. I can offer you some protection! You didn't have to lay on hands, buddy. Right, we were fine. Alright, the shield bash got the stun, and we defeated our enemies. Cool. I'd have to say that 
Oh. Oh, interesting. Lareth arc and actually increases oomph a little bit here. I'm going to go with some more dexterity. I think I'm just going to double down on dexterity, make him do a bit more damage. And we'll see how that all plays. Oh, I wanted to check before we continued on. How close to level 4 are you? Okay, so Hobbit is pretty close. And once he gets there, hopefully we can get at least one more skill yes. that does some damage. Because I feel like right now, he's basically just auto-attacking, more or less. Which is okay, I guess, but... Ooh, I think that might be my new weapon. I'll take all of it. I don't think we're encumbered yet. Probably pretty close. And I think what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is I am going to break off that. the episode right here. And in the next episode, I'm going to try to go through the inventory between this episode and the next. And I'm going to mark a bunch of stuff as junk, and then I'm going to go and actually sell it to the junk seller. And hopefully that all works out. We'll see. Either way, folks, hope you guys enjoyed the return to Sword Coast Legends. Like I said, I'm going to try to play through this, finish the game in its entirety without stopping, and not, like, literally sit here until I'm done, but keep putting up episodes and keep going and not just letting it fall to the wayside. There'll be some other returns of games from days of old, stuff like Lords of Shulama is still high on my list of things to complete, and I'm relatively close to that, so definitely look for that to be coming to your faces and eyes and ears and all that stuff soon. I'm looking forward to returning to Tales of Berseria. I haven't quite finished that game yet. I don't know that I'm close, but I think I'm at least beyond the halfway mark. So I'm definitely looking forward to returning to that, playing that out and finishing it. Because I had a lot of fun with that game. Still do and want to return. And then, of course, once I beat this, I'll jump into some of the other ones like Pillars of Eternity, Tyranny, Torment, Tides of Numenera, and there's several others. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. Later.